Okay, we will get started with Anthony Dasher followed by Chip Towers. Hey, Trey, how are you doing today, man? Not good, how about you? Good. Uh, Coach was talking, uh, I guess it was yesterday, about some of the goals that, uh, you know, Stetson Bennett had kind of set for himself during the bye week. And I just wondered about, about you as a, as a center on the team. What kind of goals did you set for yourself during the bye week, and how well did you think you went about accomplishing them? Uh, just me. It was basically just get better at every aspect of, of the game. Uh, snaps, run blocking, pass blocking, all the etc. stuff that I need to get better at. Thanks, man. Yeah, Trey, uh, you, you know, talking about Stetson, I mean, obviously he's not the tallest guy in the world. You guys had a lot of deflected passes uh, against Alabama. What are some things you can do to help him with that? And, uh, I mean, I'm just thinking, you know, you, you got to roll the pocket more, stuff like that. Uh, uh, Coach Smart talked a lot about helping everybody else on offense, helping Stetson a little bit. How do you feel like uh, you guys can do that? Helping Stetson, I mean, just us up front. I mean, basically getting D Lyman's hands down. I know that was a uh, we had a lot of batted balls in the Alabama game. So getting Lyman's hands down and just moving them around. How, how do you do that exactly? Obviously, you can't hold their hands down, hold their arms down. How do you do that? Uh, I mean, it's different type ways. I mean. You just gotta, you just gotta know what you're doing as an offensive lineman to get their hands out of defense. Thank you. Okay, we will go to Seth Emerson and then Mark Weiser. I'm good. Pass. Hey Trey, how's it going? I'm all good. Uh, you got a couple of questions about Stetson. Let me ask you about another quarterback, uh, JT Daniels. We obviously haven't seen him playing a game yet for Georgia. You know, you've had a couple of weeks since the last game, more practice time. Tell me just how he's developing, uh, you know, with you guys. He's a great quarterback. I mean, every aspect of the game, he's great. Throwing, passing, and moving around the pocket. I mean, he's a pretty good guy on and off the field. So, I mean, I love him. Okay, next we will go to Jake Rowe and then Connor Riley. Trey, uh, you guys have kind of come together um, as an offensive line since the first game and, and you know, seem to really run block real well against Alabama. What, what's kind of been the key to that, to, to you guys getting better? And uh, where do you still have room to grow? Everyone on offensive line, we got room to grow. But one thing Coach Luke teaches us, practice make permanent. So whatever we do in practice is what we're going to do in the game. And that's our motto we try to stick to. And, I mean, that's, that's what it is. What's gone into the progression thus far, though? I mean, what, what, where have you guys grown to, to be as effective as you have been since that first game and since the early struggles? Just our want to, just our mentality of how the game needs to be played. After getting shut out in the second half against Alabama, how, I guess, either anxious or how much do you guys just want to get back out there and show that you have actually on offense improved over, I guess, these past two weeks? I mean, very anxious to get back on the field. I mean, it's just a setback for a major comeback. So, I mean, our team, we've been just practicing hard each and every day to just reach our goals each and every week. Okay, next we will go to Jed May and then Jillian McIntyre. Uh, hey, Trey, you mentioned um, working on snap, snaps, and um, that's something that's kind of, you know, been a, been a problem at times throughout the season. What goes into, I guess, trying to improve snaps in practice? Is it how you hold the ball? I guess before you snap it, kind of what goes into to trying to work on that? Uh, I mean, it's just, it just pre preparation and what you think about and how you do it each and every day and what your mindset you go into the game with. That's about it. I mean, it's nothing super hard. It's just a thinking type of thing. Hey, Trey. So after um, reviewing tape from Alabama, how have you and the rest of the offensive line worked to improve um, – to allow Stetson to maybe build some more confidence and trust back there so he can continue to take more shots downfield? Just basically tell him, I mean, everything's good. I mean, just being on him, just being on him each and every day and just patting him on the back when he do good things and just picking him up when he uh, doesn't make the right read or anything like that. But that's just with all players. You have to do that with all players. Just build them back up with confidence. Okay, we will go to... Palmer Tomes, and then Patrick Garvin. Yeah, Trey, Coach <clears throat> Coach Smart mentioned the physicality that uh, Kentucky's defensive line plays with, and 
their ability to stop the run. Uh, kind of what's the scouting report there, and how have you all prepared uh, for that defensive line? Uh, it, I mean, it's nothing we have different for them. It just, I mean, we just got to go out there and play and be more physical than them, like any other team we play. Okay, we have time for a few more questions. We can open it up. Yeah, Troy, what's, uh, what's been your impression of Kendall Milton? He's a guy that you can definitely hear fans sort of getting excited about. Uh, he looks like he has some pop, I guess you would say, uh, in terms of uh, his ability to carry the football. A anything in particular you can tell us about the kid from California? Uh, great guy, hard runner. That's my uh, that's my go-to for him. He's a hard runner. It breaks a lot of tackles. Was there a, was there ever a, a moment or anything in camp? Uh, I know you guys got to be excited when the freshmen show up just to see what they got. Did did was there ever a moment where you kind of got that from him? Um, uh, I really can't think of one off the top of my head. But like just seeing him in practice. Every day, he, he have explosive runs every day in practice. So, I mean, it's nothing brand new. I mean, everybody always get excited when a freshman do something. So. On that point, how much how much does energy does that give the offensive line to see someone who's a hard runner like that? And, and you mentioned it's exciting to see freshmen uh, perform well. It gives us a lot of energy. It just make us want to do more and just make the holes bigger for them to run through. Last question for Trey. Hey, Trey, you have a little sticker on your shirt. I'm trying to see what that is. I'm getting a bad reflection on you. Oh, the uh, I voted sticker. Yeah. That's what I thought it might be. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about that. I mean, I don't know how old you are exactly, if you voted before, or you know, how, how much I know it was a big initiative for the football team and the athletic uh, association. Uh, you know, how important was it for you? Well, it was very important. I mean, over the summer, our team registered to vote. And, I mean, we just wanted to make a difference in the world. So we just chose to vote. And <laughs> Basically, that's what it is. Did you vote uh, at Stegman or where, where did you vote? Stegman, yeah. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Trey.